everyone welcome back to my channel it's Jen again and I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world if you're new here welcome here we do plenty things so if that interests you consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos and look at that pigeon guys it's just came on the right time and we have a visitor in our David Austin Rose's garden okay so we'll just continue now so today guys is may 28 2022 and look at how my roses looks like now it's like most of them have already opened their blooms so they're blooming and i'm just so excited to show you how they look like so some of them already um, opened during the week but I want to show you as much as possible um, how, how many roses are blooming in the garden. So let me start with the two uh, new varieties released by David Austin roses uh, this year for the year 2022 and show you how they look like when they flower. So let me start with um, Elizabeth. So this is um, released by David Austin Roses to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee that's going to happen next week uh, from June 2nd to June 3rd, I, I presume. Um, I'm going to put the dates at the bottom. But yeah, we're going to be celebrating here in the UK the uh, Queen Elizabeth um platinum jubilee um and she's the longest reigning monarch here in the uk so yeah back to our david austin rose elizabeth so this is how it looks like so it's been um we were having like crazy weather again here in the uk as usual so the roses are not in their best um, flower I mean, especially this Elizabeth one but this one is just starting to open as you can see there and this is how the bud looks like and so let me just read to you how um, David Austin have um, described the Elizabeth flower. So it's Elizabeth Rose. It's an English shrub rose and it's a large shrub, which doesn't mean that the flower is large. The flower is just medium size. And then, um, let me see here. So the color is pale pink to apricot and then the size is medium and you can put it on um, partial shade or under the sun and it's a repeat flowering rose from June to September and it have uh, supposed to have a strong old rose uh, fruity um, fragrance so this is what it looks like so if you're interested in buying Elizabeth, this is how it looks like. It just have a small um, clusters or sets of flower. So normally I buy um, the large flowering David Austin roses, but because uh, this rose is to commemorate uh, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, so I bought it as well. And it's gorgeous it's different from my other roses and it's beautiful as well right guys so this is bring me sunshine so this is the second rose that was released by david austin roses for this year 2022 and this is how the flower looks like so it's large bloom and look at how gorgeous the um, petals looks like there's so many petals inside and it reminds me of um, the golden celebration 
so when you look at the website on how the picture looks like it looks like um, the Bathsheba which is an apricot colored David Austin rose but in reality it looks like the golden celebration so this is the older um, flower and it becomes like pale yellow in color but when it just open it's like this pretty it's gorgeous color of um, yellow so which suits the name bring me sunshine so let me just describe how the David Austin website how to describe it so this is the name is bring me sunshine it's a large shrub and the color is a rich yellow orange and the bloom size is large and you can put it under the sun or on partial shade and it's a repeat flowering rose as well from June to September and the fragrance is medium strong mirror which I check on the golden celebration and the um, fragrance of the golden celebration is strong tea but in my opinion they um, smell um, the fragrance is similar so yeah if you're interested in buying this david austin rose i highly recommend this it's beautiful but like what i said it's similar to golden celebration all right so let me just show you the other roses that i have here and this is um the bosco bell so as you can see most of the blooms are already old so they've been here um, for a week now I think so I featured it in my previous um, video in my May 2022 um, garden tour update so there are many buds coming out at the moment so this is how it looks like so this one is not the best um, representation of how the Bosco Bell flower looks like now but I have featured it when it just opened um, last week and there will be more more um, roses going to open soon so I'll give you updates on that one so these are the pansies and look at how gorgeous they look like so they're companion plants for the roses and it adds up to the beauty of the rose in the pot as you can see there and then this one is the summer song and it doesn't have any um, buds or blooms at the moment and then this next one is the Olivia Rose Austin and as you can see there how gorgeous it looks like This is how the flower looks like and it's just opening now so later on in the afternoon it's going to be bigger in bloom as the day becomes warmer they'll open up more and as you can see there are many many blooms here so this color is quite different than this one as you can see this looks like apricot in color and the outer petals looks like white but maybe it's because of the heat and then we'll move on to the next one the next one is the royal jubilee so look at how gorgeous this one looks like it's cup rose so it doesn't open fully and you can see how many petals there are in this rose and it's large bloom as well this is another one and there are many many more buds opening soon and the next one is the golden celebration so this one haven't opened yet so i cannot compare it 
um, at the moment to the bring me sunshine but as you can see the buds is similar to the bring me sunshine one it have that yellow color and then orangey um, color on the edges of the petals this one as well and then the next one is the Ferdinand pictured so these have more blooms now than last week as you can see there and this is such a gorgeous gorgeous one because look at how many colors it have it's like the pattern is like marbled or striped and not the usual roses that you see and it changes colors as well from one rose to another as you can see there and this one let me show this to you properly so this is not a David Austin rose bead it's bead by tan but it's sold by David Austin roses so I make it like it's an honorary member of the David Austin Roses um, group. So anyway, so this next one is the Claire Austin. It's a climber. It doesn't have any flower yet. As you can see there. And it's full of um, leaves at the moment. And yeah, this is our arbor. And next to it is our Bathsheba. And this is how the flower looks like it's a large bloom rose and there's no new rose at the moment so as you can see there old roses needs to deadhead that deadhead it so that um it will produce more rose it will encourage the um, shrub to produce more roses and we've already discussed um, bring me sunshine and Elizabeth earlier so let's just go to the other side of the patio and here is my nostalgia so it doesn't have um, open bloom yet but see that it's already started to have buds so this is such a gorgeous rose as well the flower combination is like red and white and smell the fragrance is really good it's large and you can see even the leaves themselves look healthy it's best in health in my opinion doesn't get aphids that much as much as the others and yeah i highly recommend this um nostalgia so the next one is this William Shakespeare 2000. So this is how the flower looks like. So it's just opening at the moment. And it can be large as well. The fragrance is, is really good. All of my David Austin roses have um, the best fragrance. And I mean David Austin rose is known for its fragrance anyway so yeah all of them smells great and amazing and this is how the roses looks like it's like colored blood red and such a gorgeous color and the next one is my lady emma hamilton so some of the roses are already um lost their petals because we have rain and wind this past week so most of the petals have have fell out already but we have many buds oh, and then they're going to open soon as well so this one is opening soon and this is how it looks like so if you want to see how they look like when they first open for the meantime um check out my other video um that i made last week the may 2022 garden tour and yeah uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet 
so that you can see the update on my david austin roses how they will look like when all of them are in full bloom all right so the next one is this is the gertrude jekyll and it flowers all the time and look at how gorgeous the petals of this rose is guys and it's large as well as you can see there and these ones are just starting to bloom starting to open and yeah this Gertrude Jekyll is one of the first David Austin rose to open in spring around April but this time the Olivia or um, Olivia Rose Austin beat it to it it opened first and then this next one is the Jubilee celebration and this is how the flower looks like let me just show you all right guys I'm holding the flower now because the stem can handle the weight of the large flowers the large blooms so the blooms are large but um, as you can see there the stem that's holding the flower is quite thin and soft so it can't handle the weight of the bloom but look at how gorgeous this rose is guys and look at how beautiful the patterns of the petals look like and there, there's another one here as well this is the first one that opened and let me just show you how it looks like when it's fully opened so this one is quite old but you can see how gorgeous this rose is and then we'll move on to the next one so the next one is the gabriel oak and this is how it looks like so it's like a fuchsia pink rose so this is how the color looks like and smells great amazing is beautiful it's lovely and then the next one is another lady m hamilton so it's haven't opened yet so this is how it looks like when it's still a bud so as you can see it's gorgeous even the stems are gorgeous it's red not your usual um, color for rose stem and this is how the bud looks like and there's one here oh it, it doesn't looks like it's been eaten by pests it doesn't look so good need to spray something here and then yes this one is my eustachia vi and look at how gorgeous this is so the others have already lost their petals because of the wind and the rain so these are new batches and this is how the bud looks like and when it starts to open so normally it's more pink but this is like more red so yeah that's how it looks like all right guys so this is just a quick update on how my david austin roses looks like now after they bloom and i just want to specifically uh, give you an update on how the bring me sunshine and elizabeth looks like uh, when they bloom as they are the um, latest releases of david austin roses for the year 2022 and many people don't have it yet so if you're interested in getting them so this is my um review of how they look like when they open so there you go guys thank you so much for watching my video please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you again soon in my next video happy gardening